Hey guys, welcome to Peaceful Warrior Life. My name is Ashley. These are the episodes of Backyard Yoga. So hop on your mat and let's get started. So we are going to start in the center of our mats. <clears throat> Shoulders are back and down. Palms face up or down, whatever you choose. It's a nice deep belly breath, really breathing into this lower belly, filling it up with air. And blowing it out through your mouth or your nose, whichever feels good. Tapping in. Becoming present in this moment. Pulling our thoughts to ourselves, not worrying about our to-do lists. Because goodness knows we all have a lot. <laughs> Very gently taking this right hand, replacing now the earth beside us. Left hand comes up and over. Here you can find stillness or a little bounce, whatever feels best for you. Keep those eyes closed or have them open. Left hand comes up and over, really reaching with this right hand, right hand. Finding a moment of stillness or play. Whatever feels best for you. <laughs> right hand comes up, then over, left hand follows. Breathing all the while, and then left hand and right. You got it. Put a little smile on our lips. Move about. Feels good for you. Listen to your body. Right hand comes up and down, reaching toward the earth. Fingertips kiss the earth. Both palms come up behind our ears as we reach really high towards the sky, like we're a little monkey climbing a tree. Or somebody climbing a ladder. <laughs> Maybe you've done a lot of painting while we've been in quarantine. I have. Creating space in the side body, opening up, and then both palms reach way, way, way up, raining them down by our sides, fingertips kissing the earth. <laughs> shoulders are back and down, you can wiggle, wiggle those shoulders out, move however you want, and we'll rotate to our knees. So knees are right under our uh, hips, and our hands are like starfish, nice, nice and um, taut. Lots of energy in those fingers, right underneath our shoulders. And we'll start just with the tabletop position. So feeling that ground underneath you, that uh, connection with the earth. Happy Earth Day, by the way. And we'll drop our bellies, looking forward with our noses, carving that line, opening up that heart space, and breathing. Not locking those elbows, just a little bend in them. And blowing everything out for that kitty cat pose. Really pulling that navel up to the spine. And then on the deep inhale, we'll look forward again. Cow pose. And then blowing it all out. Oh my goodness. Kitty cat arching that back like a black cat on Halloween. And then pulling forward again. Opening up that heart space. And blowing it all out. And here you can continue on this cat-cow journey if this feels good to you. Or you can 
always veer off the railroad tracks, as we like to say, and move about. So kind of finding what feels good. If there's something tight, you're going to come off your wrist for a minute and give them a little bit of love. Absolutely do so. Notice something new, if you can. And then, once you're satisfied, we'll come back to this tabletop position, hands underneath shoulders. We're just going to put a little bit of fire in our toes. So, put those toes to the mat, and we're going to, lifting our knees, we'll hover. So, we're here for five, four, turning on that core, three, two, and one, lowering those knees to the ground gently. We'll take this right foot, sticking it out behind us like we're kicking it into a wall. Toes are down, everything is still lifted. Left arm goes out and up as if we're shaking someone's hand. So we're breathing. Again, igniting that core, finding that stability that balance and then bringing everything back in replacing it to the earth left leg goes out nice and strong up towards the sky right hand reaches out in front lifting again try not to collapse on one side or the other but maintaining that that balance using using this core firing it up and then bringing everything back in again. Finding, re resetting, taking this right leg, sending it out long, lifting it up, left arm goes out, and breathing. And then bringing everything back in. One more time, other side, left <clears throat> leg goes out, right arm goes up. and then bringing everything back in. Good job. So sending that booty to the back edge of the mat, putting those knees together if you want, or they can splay out. It's up to you. They can come to the sides of your mat. Really reaching those hands out while the head comes to the earth. Ooh, and the a child's pose, stretching it out. If your forehead comes to the earth, great. If not, and you're like, no, it's not going to work for me, no worries. Whew. And breathing. Going forward on a nice deep inhale. We'll put everything uh, back under, back where it was, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And put a little fire in those toes lifting those leg knees again and we're in a hovering table for five four three two and one dropping those knees down walking those knees out just a little bit we will now really claw into the earth and send our booties up and back for our first downward dog of the day and we're breathing. You can shake your head yes and no. And walking forward with our right foot and our left foot. Right and left, we find the tip top of our mat. Feet are planted in the earth. We'll lift all the way up, all the way up we go. Fingertips come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our sides. Wiggle, wiggle. Just going to wiggle it out. Wiggle, wiggle. And then stepping open with this right foot, finding a plie. Squat plie. <laughs> That's what we like to like call it. Hands out long by our sides. Feeling that foot to earth connection again. And then reaching both arms up and both legs up and pulling them in. We're just going to start. You can go as fast are slow as you want to. Whoop, finding that balance. 
working the whole body, getting the blood flowing even more. And then, if you want to add a little bit more, you can always hinge at those hips, picking up that energy from the earth and tossing it up to the air. So you can be here or here, or you can mix it up and do a little bit of both. So have a little moment of play, have fun. Or if you're like, I like this, I don't want to move my legs, <laughs> you can do that. Or maybe you don't want to move your arms and you can just move your legs. So lots of different options here. Always listening to you and finding what feels good for your body. It's so important for us to listen. Whoops! <laughs> and find what feels good. We'll do three more of whatever you're doing wherever you are, and we'll come to a nice plie position. Fingertips out nice and long. Really feeling our thighs starting, hopefully kicking in. Shoulders are always backing down. Taking these hands, guiding them on our thighs. And drop that booty a little bit more if you want. Taking this right shoulder Guiding it in, looking towards our left. Coming back to center, left shoulder guides in, looking towards our right. And coming back to center, lifting everything up Ooh, into a star pose. Really stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. And fingertips come down by our sides. Ooh, taking this right foot, turning it in, left foot, turning it up. We'll skip, pop it, hip pop it, <laughs> up to the top of the mat if you need to adjust. Absolutely do so. Squiggle, wiggle, move about. And then we will, planting our feet. Think about, oh, little bug, little bug, off the mat. Thinking about our four corners of our feet. So this ball joint and then right underneath our pinky and then the, the corners of our heels. Really planting all of those parts of our feet into the earth. This will really help us stabilize, finding our balance. So if we think about as we are standing and doing these standing positions, really making that connection. I think you'll find it easier to find balance. Taking the shoulders, moving them back and down hands come forward and we're breathing. Mountain pose, Tadasana. So here, just find, finding a moment of stillness. You can close your eyes or leave them open. It's an incredibly energizing pose. energy flowing through the body. Think about the breath as it comes up the front, breathing all the way back and down the back, kind of in a cyclical pattern. So as you inhale, think about it moving up, and then exhaling, and moves down your back. down to come all the way up. We kiss them ahead as we rain them down by our sides, palms finding the earth, stepping back with our right foot and our left foot, plank pose or half plank. Absolutely your choice. Half plank is where you drop your knees to the earth if you want. And we're here for two and one. Going straight to down dog or you can take a little vinyasa where we go all the way to our bellies belly flops welcome if you need pushing that pelvis into the earth carving a line looking forward into a little baby cobra 
and then back down we'll meet in downward facing dog. Oh, pedaling it out, getting a little warm, hopefully. We'll walk forward with our right foot and our left foot and our right, rising up all the way up, fingertips come and kiss overhead, raining them down by our sides, palms finding the earth, stepping back with that left foot this time and that right foot, plank or half plank, totally your choice. And here again, taking your vinyasa or going straight to down dog. And we'll meet in down dog, pedaling it out. Walking forward with the right foot and the left foot, right and left, lifting up all the way up, fingertips come and whoop, kiss overhead, raining them down sides, palms finding the earth, stepping back with that right foot and that left foot plank pose or half plank yogi's choice. And here again going to down dog or taking that vinyasa. Whew. You can find a baby cobra again or if you feel comfortable you can lift all the way up to your cobra and we'll meet in down dog. Walking forward with the left foot and the right foot left and right, lifting up all the way up, fingertips coming, hips, overhead, raining them down by your sides, palms, finding the earth, stepping back with the left and the right, plank pose, and you got it, going straight to down dog, or taking that vinyasa. Oh, we'll meet in down dog. Walking forward with the right foot and the left foot, right and left, coming up this time to a halfway lift. So our hands are going to be right here on our thighs. Head is out nice and long toward the edge of the front of the mat. So our arms are like little bitty grasshoppers and we're pulling in that belly button. And breathing. Booty is really sticking out toward the edge of the mat. And then on a deep inhale and exhale, sure release into that forward fold. Let that head go, shaking it yes and no. And then lifting ever so gently up, 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 up. Fingertips come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our sides. Palms binding the earth, stepping back with that right foot. And then lowering that right knee to the earth. We'll look forward just a little bit. And then off you want, if this is good and you want to stay right here, absolutely do so. But if you're like, I want more, then lift everything up. So left knee is over left ankle. Hands can be up overhead, stretching, holding a big beach ball over your head if you'd like. Or if this you're like, oh, that's a little much. How about Anjali Mudra right here at the heart? Any of those positions are going to give you a benefit, I promise. So in this pose, we're really pulling our thighs inwards, creating that stability, feeling our core work as well. We're here for three, two, one. If your hands are at your heart, go ahead and lift them up painting the wall or the air in front of you, putting them on the ground. We're going to take these left toes and peel them back toward our face, taking our heads and looking in or out. Totally your choice. Whatever feels best for you, really listen to your body as you move and find your way through these poses. You know, it's not so much about popping our body into these poses, but more of how we get there. You know, it's very similar to life as well. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, this 
lowering this left foot. Let's take this right hand and placing it on the earth. That really good connection. And left, uh, left hand too. Putting this uh, right knee up. And then we'll take this left hand and lift it up and look towards our left. If you'd like to leave your hand here, absolutely do so. If you're like, I need this knee to be dropped, you don't have to lift it at all. Please let it stay dropped on the ground. Whatever feels best for you. You can take this left hand and put it behind for a bind. You can leave it here if you'd like. And we're here for three two, and one, lowering this left hand to the ground, and then dropping our right knee, stepping back with our left knee, and then stretching back into a blessing of childhood, and breathing. Again, listening to you. And then carving a line with the nose on a deep inhale, planting those palms into the earth. That booty comes up and back into a downward dog, pedaling it out. Walking forward with the left foot and the right and the left and the right. Finding that forward fold and then lifting up into that halfway lift. Head is out nice and long, hands right here on the thighs like little bitty grasshoppers. That connection with the feet. Think about those four corners really pushing into the earth as that booty sticks out to the back. <laughs> Inhaling deeply and exhaling. Inhaling it out. Whew, there it goes. Let it go. Let it go. Shaking their heads. Yes and no. And then lifting up. All the way up. Fingertips come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our sides. Palms finding the earth. Stepping back with the left foot this time. Lowering that left back knee. And here we go again. Looking forward just a little bit. This knee is over this, right knee is over right ankle. If you want to stay here, absolutely do so. Ankle. Lifting up if you want to. Almost forgot. Hands come up overhead, shoulders are back and down. Everything is lifting. Those thighs, just like on the opposite side, are really pulling in, creating that stability, creating that balance. So hands here, overhead, or right here, Anjali Mudra at the heart. My bad. <laughs> Ooh, and breathing. Now this is a little bit of a struggle for you. It's okay. No, no big deal. It's actually a good thing. And then if your hands are right here at the heart, reaching behind your ears, let's paint that air, that wall, whatever in front of us. Hands come down to the earth. Now we'll take this left hand and plant it into the earth. If you want to leave your left knee on the ground, absolutely do so. If you'd like to pop it up, you may, and then this right hand comes up and reaches toward the right. So we're here if you'd like, or we're lower that knee or we're here or if you're like you know that doesn't even feel good then you know we're here if you'd like you can still be right here there's so many different variations for what you can do and you can also take that hand move it behind you for the bind and we're breathing for three Two, and one, dropping this right hand back down to the earth. That foot comes behind us, 
We'll put both knees to the ground, scooching that booty on back, reaching forward into that balasana child pose. Listening to our bodies. Driving a line with our nose, looking forward, putting a little fire in those toes, peeling that booty up and back. We will walk our dog. And then we'll take the dog for a walk all the way up to the top of the mat. Well, we'll lift up halfway. Halfway lift, little grasshopper arms, pulling in that belly button. Ooh, sending that booty out to the back. Airplane arms, extending those arms nice and long behind us. Lots of energy, just like we had that energy in a Tadasana, in that mountain pose. Feel those that energy shooting out of your fingertips. Releasing down we go, and then we'll come all the way up. Fingertips come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our side, stepping back with this right foot, knowing the earth is there, knowing the ground is there. And then we're almost at a 45 degree angle. We're trying to find warrior one. So left knee is over left ankle, creating a nice stability there. Hip points are facing the front of the mat. Hands come Anjali Nudra at the heart. Think about those four corners of your feet really pressing into the earth and then your feet ripping the mat apart. So this front one is really that way. In the back, you're pushing into the knife edge, as, as we call it, of that foot. Protecting. If you'd like, you can take those hands up behind the ears, shoulders back and down, holding a nice big beach ball overhead, and breathing. Warrior One is where we are strong for ourselves. Gosh, it is so important to be strong for ourselves. That's why it's so important to listen to ourselves so that we can open up into a Warrior Two and be strong for others. If you need to adjust your feet here, absolutely do so. But we're opening up, sending our arms out nice and long, our hip points are coming toward the edge of the mat this time. And we're gazing out over this left hand. And we're breathing. Even here, let's take a moment and just play. Taking this right hand and bringing it forward like we're going to shoot a bow and arrow. We'll pull it back and then phew, and then here we'll just keep on going kind of like a warrior princess or goddess or whatever you want to be and just moving with that wind moving having a little fun keeping those feet planted following that thumb so if you take this and you're like ooh, I'm getting kind of dizzy follow your thumb all wanted to be some type of warrior, right? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Alright, we'll do three more. Faster or slow as you want. And then we'll come back to this warrior two position where we're strong for others. Ripping the mat open. And then leaning forward with that left hand coming back. Bring it up and back into the peaceful warrior. Where we are at peace. Peaceful warrior. And a deep inhale, cartwheeling it all the way down to the earth. Spinning on that back right foot, taking this left foot, moving it back to the back edge of your mat, 
and we find ourselves in plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Here you can take a vinyasa if you'd like, or you can go straight to down dog. And we'll meet, and down dog pedaling it out. And we'll walk forward with our right foot and our left foot. Right and left, finding that forward fold. Here in forward fold, we don't have to bend our knee. Uh, we don't have to straighten our knees if we don't want to. You can bend those knees as generously as you like. Nobody says they have to be straight. In fact, sometimes I have a little more fun when I bend them. <laughs> and then we'll roll up into this halfway lift. Hands right here, like little grasshoppers by our sides on our thighs. Pull it in that belly button. Everything is nice and tight right there. Breathing in. Airplane arms again, extending out. Lots of energy. Head really pointing to that edge of the mat. Booty shooting back. <laughs> Not crunching. Like you could put a little teacup right here on the back of your neck. I know. Might not move. I don't know. And we're here for three, two, and one. Releasing down again into that beautiful forward fold. Bending those knees if you need. And then lifting on a deep inhale all the way up. We come. Fingertips kissing overhead. Raining them down by our sides. Taking our left foot and stepping back. We know the earth is there. Right knee over right ankle, left foot is on a parallel, not a parallel, a 45 degree angle. So hip points are facing the mat. Hands, hello, pretty cat baby. <laughs> Hands are right here on Jelly Mudra at the heart. This is my cat Amy. <laughs> or if you'd like more, you can always take them up overhead thinking about that connection with the earth and feet. Are you pushing into the back edge of that back foot and really trying to rip the mat apart? This is a whole total body experience. So hands are here or here. Again, strong for ourselves. Yes, and then a deep inhale, opening up into being strong for others. So important. Hands are really, really have lots of energy, so we're not just kind of hanging out, but everything has lots of energy. Shake and trembling a little bit. That's awesome. It's our body saying, hey, I want some more energy. We're doing stuff. <laughs> I love it. And now when you're ready, we're going to play again. So taking this left hand, moving it around, pulling that bow and arrow, looking at that. Having a little moment of fun, pretending like we are that princess or prince or warrior or all of the events. Haley's definitely a warrior. <laughs> we'll do three more wherever you are. I think I did four. I'm going to open you back up. Reaching forward with that right hand, bring it up and back, peace for you. Breathing deep. And then cartwheeling it all the way down to the ground. Left foot spinning around, right foot going back into plank pose or half plank. Absolutely your choice. 
and we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Taking a vinyasa are going straight to down dog. It is totally your choice. And we'll meet in down dog, pedaling it out. Walking forward with the right foot and the left, right and left. Lifting up, all the way up we come, fingertips come and boop, kiss overhead, raining them down by our sides. Palms finding the earth, stepping back with the right foot and the left foot. Plank pose for three, two, and one. Lowering those knees to the ground. Putting those big toes together. Knees come as wide as the yoga mat, or they can stay right underneath you, however you want to do. And then send that booty to the back edge of the mat, reaching forward, either a balasana child's pose or a wide-legged child's pose. Forehead can kiss the earth if it feels good. Moving that head if you'd like. Giving yourself a little massage on the forehead and breathing. Palms grasping the earth. <clears throat> Excuse me, as we pull forward again. If your legs are wide, we'll walk them together. If they're not, go ahead and let's sit all the way up and back, moving those shoulders. Back, opening up this heart space. Taking this right hand and pushing it behind our ear, reaching forward, finding your thigh, lift it, letting this uh, left hand drift around, looking over our shoulder. Not cranking, just, just gently looking. And coming back to center. The left hand comes up behind the ear, finds the right thigh, right hand comes around, looking over our right. No cranking, just gent gently lifting. Wiggle, wiggle those shoulders. Find what feels good. We'll come all the way to our booties. All right, put them this thing. And then sticking our legs out nice and long in front of us. You can put all your knees toward the earth, shoulders back and down. Or I like to put a little bend in my knees. So you can do that as well. Totally up to you. Taking both of our hands again, sending them up towards the sky behind our ears. And then we're going to reach all the way towards our feet. So if this is good for you, stay right here. If you want to take it further and carve a line with your nose and look inwards, absolutely do so. And breathe. And then you can straighten your legs if you'd like or leave them in that tent position. Sometimes I feel <clears throat> like I even get a better stretch in my back, if I do leave them in a tent position, my lower back especially. And we're breathing. And listen. And then igniting that core and sitting all the way up. Ooh, shoulders come back and down. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll come around. Or you can stay where you are and I'll come around. We're going to take both of our knees and just bring them in. Your hands can be right here on your uh, shins if you want. You can hug yourself like this. Or if that doesn't feel good, you can put them underneath on your thighs, whatever feels good. <clears throat> and then 
taking our noses and carving a line and stretching our sweet necks. <coughs> Excuse me. Sweet necks that carry our heads around, our big old heads all week. <laughs> Carving a line, looking forward with our nose. Taking these knees and opening them up if you like. You can give yourself a little, another little massage, a foot massage. And if you're like, yeah, that is not my jam, you don't have to. It's okay. Outdoor yoga, backyard yoga, lots of fun, lots of sound. And then bring our shoulders back and down. We'll grasp our feet in our hands. Carving a line, looking forward again with our noses. We can look into a pond if you'd like. Pretend there's a pond there or not. Or, I don't know. And take it further down if you'd like. Breathing deep. Mm. We're lifting all the way up, using that core. Using that core. Taking our knees, putting them back together. Finding our crisscross applesauce position. You're like, yeah, that doesn't feel good. Your, your legs can be here wherever you want them to be. Up to you. Taking our hands, reaching them up behind our ears, toward the sky. Big giant namaste clap overhead. Bringing our thumbs to our forehead. May we take this time to listen to our bodies, to our lips. May we take this time to listen to others and to our hearts. May we take this time to reflect on what we hear. Thank you so much for joining me in this backyard yoga. Wishing you a very happy day. Keep listening, keep laughing, keep leaning in. See you later. <laughs>